Hey y'all. Uh, y'all have heard me talk about this house and talk about this house, trying to get it uh, the way we're gonna have it for the rest of our lives. Well, so much uh, effort has had to go into fixing the yard. So I just wanna kinda show y'all what's going on here. Uh, a few years back, maybe 12 years back, there was an elderly lady that, that uh, owned this lot right here. And we heard that she wanted to sell her house, so we bought it and we gave her a life occupancy to live there. Well, she passed away, what, maybe a couple of years ago? Eddie, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So after she passed away, we tore down the house because it really wasn't, wasn't much of a house uh, at all. She had not done anything to it for years and years. So, but this, this was... The end of your property right yeah, here. about right here. This, okay, this was our yard. So, uh, we knew that one day when she had passed on that we were gonna knock the house down and incorporate this yard because uh, in reality, we didn't have, we don't have too much of a yard on this property. Uh, so, uh, Michael had to have his garage to store his toys in. So I'm so excited about his garage. Uh, I tease him and call it uh, Hotel, Hotel 6. <laughs> Isn't that the name of the name? Uh -huh. But he has many people like that much down over here, y'all. So we just had uh, this driveway put down all the sides, and there's two birds, and um, the last thing to do the property is our swimming pool. And it's going right here, right in between. That's my garage right there, and this is Michael's garage. Uh, so I just feel like Michael and I are probably not going to use it much, but it will bring us so much pleasure to see our grandchildren uh, use it. And let's face it, I got to have something to attract them to want to come over here, right? <laughs> So everything's looking good. I told them my, one of my favorite flower, my very favorite flower is uh, hydrangeas. So they planted a lot of hydrangeas and the Japanese magnolia, you know, it blooms in the winter. And now you can see all of our citrus trees down there. They still have a good bit of fruit left on them. Uh, Oh, you know what I want to show me? There's a store here in Savannah called Picker Joe's. And uh, Eddie took me in there a few weeks ago. And they have some of the most incredible uh, architectural things. Well, I saw this uh, set of gate doors and I fell in love with them. And I said, ooh, Eddie, if there's some way, I, that's, I wanna use that out in the yard. Well, come to find out they they came from Nepal. So I, I said, Eddie, we have just got to figure out a way where we can use these gates. Um, I love the way they patinaed out. And like I said, these are from Nepal and I'm not gonna paint them, I'm not gonna do anything to them. And look, they're so old. Wait now, Paula, don't. This is, they're so old, look, that's the lock on them. And I love that. And I'm not gonna paint them or anything. We've got, still got to paint this all white. And um, I just think they're so beautiful. And I said, well, they'd be all right being outside. And he said, well, they were in the yard uh, in Nepal for 145 years. Now, I don't know where he got that number. 
he's probably pulling my leg on that. But they are very, very old. And uh, I think it's so much fun when you can find old pieces of architecture that you can use. I just think it's so yummy. So we, we had new side put in and you can see it's trying its best to turn green. Uh, so it won't be long before everything will be green and hopefully beautiful. And look at these right here. Mike and Jason are fixing to put these in the ground right here. These were my Bubba's. These were on his porch in his house. So I don't want anything happening to these. I want to keep these for the rest of my life. Because Bubba loved them and now it's my turn to give them the love. So that was my Bubba. And uh, you know, over the winter our ferns get to looking real bad, y'all. So I asked Mike to take the rough looking ferns and just set them out in the yard and they will multiply and they'll come back. They'll come back every year. So this is the, on the sides of the house. And y'all, <laughs> Michael and I went the other day. You know, I love birds naturally, having ladybirds for 31 years. You have to love birds in order to do something like that. But we went to Birds Unlimited and got the stuff to start trying to attract birds. So if y'all know how to do that, please help me. Because uh, we put it out, we put out the bird feeder over here. So I could see it, you know, from our bedroom and the porch. We ain't had a bird yet. And I can hear them. I can hear the birds tweeting in the trees. So apparently we have put this in the wrong place. So if y'all can offer me any advice, I would certainly welcome it. See, everything's trying to come back. Even this hydrangea is. And I think this will come back too, don't you? I just turned that one back. Yeah, I think it'll come back. Cause it's still green. It's still green. I don't know about that one over there. Jason and Mike are trying to get a, a grip on uh, Michael's outdoor kitchen. So, oh, and we got the fence up. That's something new. Uh, now our our little ones can come out here and I don't have to be scared to death that they're gonna fall in. So that's what's been going on in our world, y'all. Let me know what's going on in y'all's. And please help me with the birds. Okay, y'all, Eddie and Michael and I wanted to do something nice for this team that's doing all of this yard work. Because at one time it was two separate lots, we're having to reconstruct it so it looks just like one big lot. And over the years, I'm sure you all are like Michael and me, we've met up with some people that has done some work for us that maybe we wouldn't recommend. But I do want to recognize the crew that has uh, helped us along on this house. And I think it all started with Tony Reardon. Don't you think, Eddie? Oh, yes, yes. He Eddie. and, he and uh, uh, Gretchen, too. Yes. Uh, Gretchen with uh, Felder Associates uh, got together and worked on our plans for our reconstruction. And uh, Tony and his team did a great job. I would recommend him. And with Tony, he has people that he's worked with over the years that uh, he has been very pleased with and not ashamed to uh, recommend them. So, cause she has, you know, do, do I recommend that person? I don't know, 
because when you do something like this, you talk about a lot of money and you want it done right. So we brought in lunch for them from the Lady and Sons today. And uh, what's your favorite, guys? Como está este? Muy bien, gracias. Huh? What's, what's your favorite? Fried chicken. Fried chicken, yes, sir. I hope y'all let me have a piece. <laughs> y'all eat up though, guys, and enjoy. So there's been several teams that I just want to say uh, thank you to. And if you need my recommendation, we are happy to give it to you. And uh, I, our floors, our wood floors are beautiful in the house. Now, the first ones I just never really liked. So uh, there is a precious young man named Matt Grimes, and he works like a dog. I mean, he's young, and he's started his business when he's very young, and his business is called Wood Grain Hardwood Floors, uh, and his name is Matt Grimes, and I loved working with Matt. He was so sweet. And the thing that we're very, very excited about now is uh, with all of our grandchildren, we feel like we have to have a pool. And it's certainly not something Michael and I would care to have, but we do we do enjoy seeing our grandchildren all gather together and, and playing in the pool. And uh, Ira Wibberly with Aqua Blue Pools, uh, I think they're out of uh, Charleston, Charleston and Beaufort, right, Eddie? Yeah, I believe, right. I believe so. But Ira is the nicest guy, and uh, sometimes working with pool people, it can be very stressful, but not with Ira and uh, Aqua Blue Pools. So, if you're thinking about a pool, you might want to call him. So, this is just a thank you uh, for some of these men. So as I said earlier, we are combining two different properties, hoping to make them look like one, uh, and that it's been that way all along. And uh, I just have to say that this team you're seeing right now is Todd Burnson and Alan Young's business, and it's ATA Landscape and Construction. And I, I just can't say enough good things about those guys. They came in like a tornado. Like a tornado, honey. Uh, they didn't tear up anything that they couldn't put back together and make it beautiful. Yes. So that's the team that you see right now. And the landscape architect is uh, Mike Small. And he came highly recommended through Tony. And I love Mike. He is, in the past, I've had people overplant the yard to just overstock their wallet. And, you know, not knowing about those things, you let it happen. But Mike Small is not that kind of person. And that's wonderful that I don't have to watch over every bush because he's putting in a thousand here. So. Those people have my recommendation. <laughs>